of prey come in all shapes and sizes. Today we're going to see two ends of the spectrum. The heavyweight is the Marshall Eagle. The nimble firecracker is a Perlin, a Peregrine Merlin hybrid, sometimes called a Micro Falcon. Also joining the training session this morning is Roy's Golden Eagle, Baby. He wants him match fit for a big falconry meet in Lincolnshire this week. First up is the young Marshall Eagle. So this is a, a young male Marshall Eagle from this season. So he's just in the initial stages of his training. Obviously he's not a native of Europe or the UK. This is a, an African Eagle. He was, he was born and bred over here or hatched and raised over here and we're going to be giving him a go and seeing what he can do when he's up and fit. Obviously in the wild out in Africa they fly quite a lot in the in the bush felt by the, the shape of their wing loading they look like they spend a, a lot of time soaring around as well but he's starting to show quite a lot of potential. He, yeah, he looks like he's certainly got some speed to him. Sang was flying him yesterday on the lure and he really did start to turn it on so hopefully we'll get a bit more of a show of that today. Roy has started training the eagle using the hair lure that's dragged behind the car, but the marshal needs a quick warm up to remind him what's going on. So to start off with, we're just going to do a couple of fish recalls because he's not too keen on the, the tan-coloured glove at the moment. He's been trained to a darker glove, so he's just got to get used to it. So we'll do a short one to start with. Ready? Now it's onto the high speed hair. This is where the eagle's true grace and power can be seen. He's starting to get excited about it and he's starting to realise what his wings are for and starting to put a bit of power through. Um, it can take a little while with eagles, they can be a bit sort of slow and flappy, but what you're looking for is a, a very powerful direct flight. It's a good flight and Sang and Roy have high hopes for this reasonably good-natured eagle. Next to get some exercise is Baby. He is an old hand and Roy is looking forward to getting him out hunting this week with other eagle falconers. So we're off to Woodall Spa this afternoon, so it's a, the British Falconers Club meet which I think is held once every four years. So uh, hopefully there'll be a, a good showing of hares, but it's all sorts of disciplines of falconry being practiced. There's falcon flying, there's hawks, and then there's a, a small eagle group as well. I think there's about nine eagles going to be flown. Uh, it's, uh, it would be nicer if it was about 15 degrees cooler. Uh, hopefully we'll still get a good showing of hairs. Last up is Ian Sperlin, who is so cute. He's being trained using the kite. He powers up hundreds of feet to attack a lure which descends down the line. Very simple. So that just clicks onto the line and so that can run back down the line and then it's just a, a fishing pressure release clip. So that just clicks onto a loop by the kite and as soon as the extra weight of the bird hitting the lure strikes it, that breaks away and then that slides back down, bringing the bird back down towards us. Roy uses his rangefinders to get the exact height. So to the lure, we're 250 metres that is. Right. That should be a decent enough height. Making height really nicely. Powering all the way, which is what you want to see. And he's going to have to go out and do another turn around. Good lad. He might be on it for this time. He's still climbing as he's going. Let's give the kite right overhead now. And he's coming straight into it. Just let him take it. Eventually the micro falcon will learn to soar above Ian, following him, and then dive onto quarries such as snipe when Ian's dog flushes them from cover. Falconry is a huge commitment, but the rewards are great, and size definitely doesn't matter. <laughs> 